Hello teacups, I'm looking a little worse for wear, I do realise. <laughs> it's midnight and I'm not in my apartment. So th things happen, things happen today. So I'll show you around the hotel room in a minute. But um, basically I came home from work, it was very, very hot. Oh my God, it was hot. Came home from work and the power went out about 7.30. Now, it's Thursday, which is an awkward time because maintenance closes for um, for Friday, which is the holy day, and so no one's available. And we do have a housing liaison when this happens, though. But it wasn't just my house. It was everywhere. <laughs> everywhere on my row. And then half of the opposite row. But then the side people had power. And... Um, Anyway, we got a message saying, okay, it'll be back up in about 20 minutes, you'll be okay. It, it's some, some outside person has to come in. And you know, we were like, okay. And Pad didn't come on. And I was like, instead of sitting here, cause I'm hot and I'm bothered, uh, I'll walk to the shop. Um, I might go into the restaurant at the front cause I was assuming at that point they had power cause I'd messaged some of my friends and the friend that lived on the other side of, of the compound said, no, 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 I've got power, fine. So I was like, okay, so it's just some of the houses. It'll be a little, it'll be a little bit of time. So I was going to go to the restaurant, have some dinner because I couldn't cook because my cooker is electrical, <laughs> and I was just going to um, take my laptop so I could plug it in there so it would have charge, and and wait it out. And I started walking, and there's like a big pool communal area, and that was blacked out. And I walked past the shop, and the shop and the whole row of shops was completely down and I was like oh no and the, the restaurant was blacked out and I was like oh no everywhere How, why are some houses still on then what's going on because it seems pretty serious and then suddenly as I'm about to arrive at the restaurant the street lights go on and I just think oh thank god <laughs> it's back because guys it's Saudi and it's August when I say it's hot it when the, the power's still off at nine o'clock and it was a hundred degrees like at night and I was just like no no I can't I'm not built for it and uh, I've been sitting in the heat for a while at that point which is why I look so gross I'm about to get in the shower and um but the street lights came back on and I was like okay I could stay no I feel like just going home I'm a bit tired it's the end of the work week it's been a long week I, I just want to go home so I turn around I drop into the shop real quick to get something for dinner and I um walk back and I get back and we all have lights outside our houses, which um, we can control. So I, was, I didn't realize they must be on the same system as the street lights, because they were on. And I was like, okay, perfect. I went in my house, I had no power. And I contacted my next door neighbor and she had power. And I was like, oh no, it's just me. And I called our liaison and was like, what, what, what is going on? And um, he didn't answer. And it went on for an hour. And I was getting really angry and I was trying to call him because I was like, at the very least, tell me what's going on. Then I get a message saying, please, please come outside. I need to talk to you. And I go out and it's him like frantically going from house to house because there was a fire at one of the transformers outside the compound, like no one in, in danger, but that feeds some of the electricity. So there were small blocks of houses all over the compound. <laughs> and he's in charge of all the ones that have um, teachers in. And uh, so like from my house and the next four houses had no power and across the street, starting from one house, there was no power, another block of four. And this was happening all over the compound. And he came to us, I think he was expecting a tantrum, but at this point I just wanted to know what was happening. And he was like, you can book anywhere, five star hotel, go to the Hilton. And um, if you bring the receipt, we will pay. Doesn't matter what you do, anywhere you because this fire's happened you're not going to have power until at least tomorrow and um the only thing with that though is we have to prepay but a couple of the teachers uh because we got paid recently they didn't have their money because they had transferred it back they transferred it today and it's still in the financial ether somewhere and they can't access it so especially um a couple of the south african teachers because it's taking a bit longer so they didn't have the money to prepay and get reimbursed. And they said, you know, we will give you the money as soon as you get back. But it's it's money to shell out. And if you don't have it, you don't have it. And um, I hadn't sent mine back yet, but I didn't have enough to cover everyone. So we went back 
and I could tell they were a bit nervous. So I was just like, don't worry, we'll sort it. And uh, we went back to our liaison and we just said, look, we, we, need, we need the compound to pre-book it for us. And he made a phone call and they were like, done. But it meant that they chose the hotel. And so I was like, oh, I could have had a really bougie hotel. <laughs> but at this point I was tired and I was like, as long as it's functional, guys, and I said they did us right with the hotel. It's very pretty. It's a nice hotel. It's a lot nicer than I thought they would put us in. Let's put it that way. I thought they'd put us somewhere fine and functional, considering how many people they have to house tonight. Like, this is going to cost a pretty penny. Um, but let me show you. So we're starting here. And we're coming in. I've turned the TV off because my name was on it. And it's, it's not a large room, but it's a very nice one. So very comfy bed, all lovely, and uh, a little fainting couch over there. I've got a nice bottle of water there, which I should probably drink because I'm going to turn into sand at this rate. Hi, I've got my buyer on because I was outside. And then into here, fancy tub. I think I'm just going to do a shower soon because I feel gross. All my toiletries are out here. Do excuse me. I grabbed everything I could find, but like I say, very nice room. And uh, we have a nice little complimentary coffee stash in here, so they clearly know me well, which I'm going to avail myself of tomorrow. I just want the floor. It's got a lovely seating area just inside the, the, the chandeliers. It's so nicely laid out. Little fountain. Thank you. Mm. Hello, teacups. So I'm feeling a hundred percent less crusty today. <laughs> I apologize for the state of myself yesterday. I have been up since 5.30, I've been at work all day, and I had been out of air conditioning for about five hours when I turned on the um, when I turned on the camera and it was midnight. So it had been a long old day and it had been full of things. Uh, I've just received a call to say our power is back on. So we are gonna check out today. We're not gonna stay longer. Um, but we've got an hour or so because checkout isn't till 12. They did say, oh, we can do it till two, but we, uh, we wanna get home and kind of fix whatever we've lost, empty my fridge, that kind of thing. Uh, but it's actually been kind of lovely unexpected kind of we would have preferred not to do it but if we were going to this little mini hotel vacation has been lovely <laughs> we've been at school for the last two weeks but um we haven't been we had some trial lessons with the kids to get them used to the system and just meet and greet but we start full lessons um next week so it was kind of nice to just have a little have a nice little hotel day to be honest uh feeling pretty good about it in terms of how badly the power cut could have ended they could have just said well because the problem originates outside there's nothing we can do unfortunately and they didn't they put us up somewhere nice and made sure we were comfortable and I'm, I'm really pleased with how they dealt with it so I'm gonna pack my stuff up this is the end of our little adventure I'm gonna call the driver and um, book the car and uh, <laughs> thank you for watching I'll see you next time